are infected with the disease of greed. What happens when a people are infected with the disease that material wealth equals status? In order for me to have status in Sydney, I must have a BMW. In order for me to have status in Sydney, I must have a high paying job and live in an exclusive residential area. Then I'm a somebody. But if I don't even have a car and I'm living in a little flat and I'm drawing a small salary, then I'm a nobody. Has it ever reached you? This kind of propaganda? Huh? That is the second method of attack on morals and character. Surah Al-Kahf of the Quran came down to warn us and protect us from Dajjal. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us a beautiful story in Surah Al-Kahf. It is a story of the rich man and the poor man. The rich man has the two gardens and they're very fertile. And there's a river running between the two gardens, and so there's natural irrigation. And he invests in his gardens, and the produce is abundant. Grapevines, and date palms, and what have you, cornfields. And the rich man now believes that because he has this wealth, he's a somebody. And because the poor man does not have this wealth, he's a nobody. And so his wealth has corrupted him. That is the disease of the modern age. He believes that his wealth will last forever. That's what they believe out there. And he now looks down upon the poor man condescendingly. But the poor man warns him, and those tonight who are not earning much money and working hard for the little that they get, tonight they are going to be comforted by these words. And there are many amongst us who don't earn much money. The poor man warned him. He said, when you enter into your gardens, you should remember Allah. And you should thank Allah, Masha Allah. For remember, Allah can destroy what Allah gave to you. And Allah can give to me better than what He has given to you. That is the hope and that is the comfort tonight for those who are less than wealthy. The rich man did not heed the warning. When you want wealth, you take it however you can get it. You even have to cut some corners to get the wealth. Sometimes you got to rip off people to get the wealth. I want the money. It doesn't matter how it comes. That's what I want, the money. But eventually Allah will destroy you because you're internally corrupt. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala withdrew the water. And as the water was withdrawn, the gardens crumbled. As water is now being withdrawn from the state of Israel. As the gardens crumbled, and then the rich man wrung his hands like this. And guess what he said? Ya laytani lam ushrik bi rabbi ahada. In the process of corrupting himself with greed, he had committed shirk. Tonight's lecture is was a lecture to explain to you why is the attack being launched on the morals and character of the Muslim youth?
and is succeeding. What is the objective of this attack? And who is launching the attack? We've explained to you the enemy who is launching this attack on you and on me. That enemy has as, a, has his, as his objective to destroy your power, to destroy your capacity to build that power with which to be able to wage the jihad to liberate the Holy Land. If we are to respond to that enemy and make amends for the mistakes that we committed yesterday because we didn't know, or we were foolish, I was also foolish in my life, then the answer to that enemy is for tonight the heart to turn to Allah and to say to yourself, I don't want to be a rat anymore. No, that was yesterday. Today I'm a different man. I want to be a man. When it comes to a woman, when she comes into my life, I want to bring her into the sunshine. So the whole world can see, this is my woman. I have married her. She is my wife. And I will not go into the dark to be a rat. When you purify the heart, then Allah says, Qad aflaha man zakkaha. Those who purify the heart, they will succeed. Tonight the message has been, and it's a simple message tonight, it is sufficient to have simple food to eat. It is sufficient to have simple clothing to wear. It is sufficient to live in a simple home. And be content with whatever I have as risk. Because the yardstick with which measure Allah measures is different from the yardstick with which Australia measures. In Allah's yardstick, Inna akramakum, inna Allahi atqaakum. Those who are noblest in the sight of Allah, standing tallest in the sight of Allah, are not the ones with the BMWs, but in their heart there is godlessness. It is those who in their hearts have the fear of Allah. When you have the fear of Allah in your heart, then Allah will give you a way out of your difficulties. Let us end with this ayah of the Quran. Because there are many tonight who have difficulties in their lives. Whosoever has the fear of Allah in his heart, Allah will open a way. Allah will open a way for him out of his difficulties. And Allah will provide for him from sources he cannot possibly imagine. And whosoever puts his trust in Allah, Allah is sufficient for such people. May Allah bless all our 17 and 18 and 19 year old tonight. And grant that they may grow strong in Islam as men who will fight to liberate the Holy Land. Rabbana taqabbal minna innaka anta samir alim wa tub alayna ya mawlana innaka anta tawab rahim. برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين